Hey, how's it going guys? In this PyQD5 tutorial, we're going to learn how to add menu items to your push button. So let me just give you a quick demo. So we have a push button. If I click on this push button, I'm going to have a list of menu items. Here I can select California and followed by the cities that belong to the states. Same with Illinois, I have Chicago and Springfield. For Ohio and Texas, I don't have any cities attached to those states. But that's pretty much the whole exercise. And let me close this window and we can get started. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import the libraries. From the Qt widgets module, we want to import a Q application class, Q widget, Q push button, and Q menu. So these are the four classes that I'll, I'll need uh, for this exercise. So here let me create my app demo instance and this is going to serve as my application template. And I'll pass the key widget class as the parent class. Oops, and I have a code snippet that will write the, the initialized uh, syntax for me. And here I'll create my key application instance. And I'll name my app demo instance as demo. And here I'll do demo.show and followed by system.exit and I'll, I'll pass my the application uh, loop we know we need a push button so let's go ahead and create our push button first and we'll send the caption click it should click me so click me and I'll link the button to my class So here I'm going to use the set style sheets method and to increase the font size. So I'll set the font size to 25 pixels. Next, I'll move the button uh, to the right by 100 and to the bottom also by 100. And to resize the button, I'll set the size to 150 by 150. Now let's, now let's take a look at the window. <clears throat> so inside this window is my push button. Now we have the button. We just need to create our menu to attach to the button widget. So I'll name my uh, Q menu object as menu. And from the button object, there's a method called set menu. And this allows you to add menu widget to the button. So I'll pass the menu object. Now we have the menu widgets add to our push button. We need to create some data. So I'll name my data object states and cities. And it's going to be a list. And inside this list, we're going to have a list of dictionaries. Your dictionary key is going to be the name of your menu items. And on each menu item, we're going to have a list contains the cities. Let me give you an example. So my first state is going to be California. In California, we have uh, San Francisco, Oakland, San Jose, and San Mateo. And these are the cities located in the Bay Area. And for the next step, we want to create is in noise. And we're going to have Chicago, Evanston, and Springfield. For the other two states, I'm not going to insert any cities. We can simply insert the state name. So Ohio and Texas. So this is going to be our data object that contains the data we're going to uh, insert to our menu widget. And to add the data to my menu object, I'll create a function called add menu. And this function is going to have uh, two parameters, so data and the menu object. 
And because we don't always know uh, the structure of our data object, because sometimes we can have a dictionary or simply just a string. And I'm going to use recursive loop to basically array each item one by one. Here I'll insert if condition. So here I'm going to say that if is instance, I want to check the data object data type. If the data argument data type is a dictionary, then I want to uh, iterate the key and the values. And I want to create my sub menu. So it's going to be a Q menu uh, object. And we're going to pass the key and the parent menu object. And we we'll add the sub menu to our menu object, which is the parent menu object dot add menu. And we'll pass the sub menu. Next, I'm going to code the add menu method again. So sub dot add menu. We'll pass the value and the sub menu. And I'm going to insert our if condition. So here we're going to uh, iterate the list object. So to iterate the list object, we can use the is instance function again. Okay. And we'll pass the data argument. And we're going to check if the data argument data type is a list. And if the data object is a list, we're going to iterate uh, each element in data. And we're going to add those uh, elements. So in this case, will be cities. We'll add those cities to our menu object. So self the add menu, and we'll pass the element followed by the menu object. Otherwise, we can create our action. So the action is basically the the destination, and from the menu object. So we we'll add the action, and we'll pass the data object. And here I'll use the set icon visible menu. I'll set that to false. And here I'll call the add menu function. And I'll pass the states and cities uh, object. And I'll pass. And as well as the menu object. And I think that's it. Oh, and one more thing. If I want to extract the menu item, I can use the trigger signal that connects. I can pass a Lombada function and grab the text. And that's it. Now let's just give it a try. So if I save and run the script, and here I have a name error. So let me double check. Oh, so this should be a for loop, not if. So that's my mistake. And what else do I have? Q action object has no attribute set icon visible. Oh, so uh, this should be set icon visible in menu. All right now, this time I'm not getting any error. Now if I click on my push button, and here I have California. Under California, I have San Francisco, Oakland, San Jose, and San Mateo. And for Illinois, I have Chicago, Evanston, Springfield. And for Ohio and Texas, I don't have any cities attached to those states. Now if I select a, a city, so let's do San Francisco. And I'll print the city name, San Francisco. And somewhere if I click on Ohio, and I'll simply print the, the state name Ohio. So this is everything I'm going to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.